we all became, um, if the majority of the country became black, are those issues, are those issues erased? The seasoning that we went through, uh, the slavery, the Jim Crow, the um, the black codes, all the different things that got us uh, sitting in the classroom and being afraid to be smart, being afraid to read a book, mm. you know, things like that. That's mental. So um, mm. us be becoming a majority, how do we still deal with those mental issues? You are now tuning in to TNJ Radio Show. The way we've been educated, would we be able to maintain good communities? I mean, just because America flipped and the whole America's black doesn't mean that uh, we still have to deal with the cultural issues that we've had throughout history. The fact that right. the divorce rate of our families, you know, you know, incarceration and those type of things, some of the traumas that's, that's happened to us, um, do those just disappear also? Or we're still gonna have to face those. So and whatever yeah, issues yeah. that we're having underlying as people. So that would be the question. How do we deal with the issues that would still be present? I mean, just because um, they made the whole country black doesn't mean that the problems disappear. Now, do the problems disappear with it? The problems that came with um, us coming over here being a minority or being drugged by slavery that created um, uh, the situation that we live in now. Because yeah. if we all became, um, if the majority of the country became black, are those Issue, are those issues erased? The seasoning that we went through, uh, the slavery, the Jim Crow, the um, the black codes, all the different things that got us uh, sitting in the classroom and being afraid to be smart, being afraid to read a book, mm. you know, things like that. That's mental. So um, mm. us be becoming the majority, how do we still deal with those mental issues? Okay, so your, uh, so your answer is a no. I don't think it would be as easy as we think it would be. I mean, I think overall, because the country's black, you're going to be successful black people, but we're still going to have to deal with the underlying issues uh, in the black family. Mm. Mm. So, so the picture that I that I kind of picture whenever this question is brought up, and this is fictional, obviously, so we'll, we'll use Wakanda as yeah. an example. So, you know, this is a, you know, a, a highly driven technological society that is lacking a lot of the i guess a lot of people are either close on on level or i wouldn't say the same level there's still a hierarchy right but um there's no there doesn't, doesn't seem to be any want or need and things like that so what what, what do you think as far as if you know we if we zap a wand blacks are a majority how do you think? How long you think it would take to get there? Man, what would it take? Is it? I mean, our, our numbers are headed that way from what it seems as far as the population, because, um, well, you know, the Hispanics are growing a little bit faster than uh, blacks, but according to the census and everything, um, the black population is raising, and um, the Europeans are having less, having children at a lower rate, and so their population population is is shrinking. So, I mean, they say it could happen closer to the year 2050 or something. That's what I'm hearing, which is not that far away. That's still in our lifetime. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll be 30. 